Seven. Long-term research into where New Zealanders choose to live has found Kiwis flock to the sunniest places in the country, reason number one. In the 80 years between 1926 and 2006, Tauranga and Whakatane have been the fastest growing towns, overwhelmingly the fastest, with the number of sunshine hours believed to be one of the key attractions. With me now is Tauranga Mayor Stuart Crosby. Stuart, morning to you. Good morning, Paul. How are you this morning? I'm well. Lucky old you, living in the most desirable part of uh, part of New Zealand. Obviously, these figures, which are astonishing, Tauranga is ahead of everywhere else by a country mile. Um, these figures were calculated in the 80 years up to 2006. Since then, we've had the global financial crisis and, of course, this huge boom in Auckland. Tauranga slowed down a bit, but now there is another resurgence there, isn't there? Uh, absolutely, yes. We're kicking on again after the GFC, so... Uh, pretty strong growth and uh, we have that well planned. Uh, we've had a growth management strategy, Paul, since uh, 2003, so we roll out land in a sequential way with infrastructure and all the community facilities with it. So uh, we've had a very robust plan for some time and it's working. OK, now this is one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you, because you have actually had a plan, unlike Auckland, which is stumbling along in the dark. Um, and people can actually see your plan when you approach Tauranga. You see there are more roads than you can shake a stick at, because presumably this is part of what you're talking about. You go, you drive, you're in the middle of the country and there's a huge blooming roundabout presumably because you're preparing for more suburbs. Well, exactly. In one month's time, we're going to open up a $450 million new road heading east down our coastal strip of Papamaua Beach uh, to bypass Tapuki, and that's a piece of lead infrastructure by NZTA, which is pretty typical of our planning. So we do it with our neighbours, the Western Bay Plenty District Council, mm -hmm. Tangata Whenua, uh, the regional council and the government departments, and we've been doing that for the last decade. Um, there were a range of reasons given for Tauranga's success. The biggest one was sunshine hours. Next came proximity to Auckland. Um, in terms of sunshine hours, do you ha hear people quoting that to you, that essentially the weather is the thing that attracts them? The weather is just one element of our lifestyle, I guess, Paul, sort of laid-back sophistication. Uh, in other words, oh, so well, there are other that. reasons as well. Tauranga, laid-back sophistication. Well. <laughs> laid-back sophistication, that's Tauranga. So there are other reasons. Uh, schooling is really important too. Uh, we're getting younger people coming back uh, from Australia, Europe, um, from all parts of New Zealand. That's great because we were heading down uh, the alleyway of being a retirement village, but that's turned around in the last... Uh, four or five years for sure. Now the other thing of course you're going to be able to pick away at is the fact that housing is becoming increasingly unaffordable in Auckland. Are you finding that more and more people are relocating from Auckland? Uh, yes, they are. yes they are Paul and this actually happened um, in the mid 2000s as well uh, when house prices rocketed in Auckland. Uh, we had uh, a lot of people coming down but they were more the retirement age. This time we're hearing from real estate agents so they're actually uh, young family couples which is fantastic for our future. And of course you do have prices on your side for people relocating for Auckland. What would you pay for a really nice, on average, really nice three bedroom low maintenance brand new house in Tauranga? Uh, for a really nice, say, 220 square metre home, you're under half a million. Uh, but we have a number of homes uh, just under uh, 400,000. So between See, 400 God, and half a million dollars, yeah. you'll get a lovely home. In and, and when you say lovely home, you, I mean, these are luxury homes on a great section, freehold, brand new, low maintenance. God, Jimmy, you're tempted. Yeah, move the show. All yes, right, Stuart, yeah. um, before you go... Um, will you create something of a tax haven if we relocate Paul Henry down to Tauranga, yes or no? Uh, Paul, you're more than welcome to come here. We have great access up to Auckland if you have to go there at all. Brilliant. And finally, um, at the other end of the spectrum, so Tauranga was number one in terms of fastest growing towns, the, the, at the other end of the spectrum was Kaitangata. What, what sort of bone can you throw them? Is there a suggestion you can give to the stewardship of Kaitangata as to what they might do? Oh, look, just agree on a plan and get on and implement it, and uh, it all comes good in the end. And if all else fails, relocate to Tauranga. Absolutely. What was the line again? Laid back laid sophistication. Back, laid back sophistication, yeah. Paul. That's Tauranga. Did you think of that, Stuart? <laughs> uh, no, I actually printed it off our tourism agency. Oh, love it, love <laughs> it. Just take, you're the mayor, just, just take credit for it. Um, brilliant, Stuart, thank, thank you very you. much for joining us this morning. Looks like another gorgeous day in My Tauranga pleasure. too. Uh, Stuart Crosby, Tauranga Mayor. Um, and it's interesting, isn't it, Hilary, if you look at these figures here. So Whakatane was next in these 80 years that the mm -hmm. study took mm -hmm. place. Um, and that's a long time to be judging. Then Rotorua, Hamilton, 
Whangarei, Levin. Levin? It's Levin. Big, that is a lovely part of the country. No, and it's that, not. No, easy it access is. to the capital, you know. Yeah, train is service. it that easy? Well, I don't know that it's that there's easy. A, there's a train. Better anyway, climate than Wellington. There's a train. <laughs> and also, look at the capital. No one wants to go there. Oh, come on. In terms of house prices, okay, then Pukekohe. Oh, I suppose Pukekohe is Auckland now. Auckland, Cambridge to Awamutu. And then you're right down to Hokitika, which is quite nice, actually. Hokitika's quite nice. Nothing wrong with Hokitika.